super stoked for this. Where are we going today? Uh, in route to the Marquesas. We left Marathon 8 o'clock, 8.30 maybe. Uh, we ended up having a little dingy up, so we burned a little bit extra time. Probably after 9, we finally got headed um, towards the Marquesas. We ended up heading south, went out to about 350, 400 feet deep so we could throw some fishing lines out and troll the whole way here. And what happened to those fishing lines? Um, <laughs> well, we caught zero fish, but we had about probably a 10 foot hammerhead come swim up right next to the boat and then we watched him just drift all the way back and he, we watched him kind of get back close to the baits and he got over behind them and actually never heard a drag, never heard anything. Just all of a sudden one of the lines was slack and kind of wrapped up in the boat, reeled that one in and he definitely stole it. The hammerhead ate our squid bait and then like a moment later we pulled in another reel and that squid was gone. So now two out of three are gone. Yep, so we brought them all in and <laughs> we're just cruising now. We're 20 miles, no, 15 miles from Key West right now. So at this place, I think we're gonna go just west of Key West. There's us, it's Key West. Just to the west, there is a protected area over here in this Boca Grand Key. That's where we're gonna try and anchor tonight. And then from there, Marquesas. And so far, everything is amazing. Not gonna wait. Yeah. like bulk meal to cook out of from cook out of to eat out of for the next few days um we meant to do that before we left didn't happen so now he's grilling chicken on the propane grill and i'm gonna be dicing the veggies and preparing the rice Well, they're One challenge of cooking on a boat, uh, Matt is trying to straighten out the boat with the waves because uh, we've got boiling water here and hot veggies here. I kind of have to keep like a, one hand on the pot because they're starting to slide back and forth with the waves. So when he gets that done, the waves aren't going to be so aggressive and it's going to be probably a lot more safe. Yeah, much better. Thank you. I kind of want to hurry and get this done because the sun is so beautiful out there. I don't want to miss watching that sun go down. Oh, Pretty bad right now. We don't know if y'all can hear. Oh, wow, that's a close up. Do that. <laughs> we went fishing, we just didn't go catching. I didn't catch anything. How long were we out in the water? Uh, we are less than a mile from the Marquesas. Gorgeous weather though. The wind picked up maybe an hour ago on our way in. It's coming out of the north now, so we'll see. Still not much going on, just a little chop on the water. And should be a good day. We'll get up here, launch the dinghy, and go play on the beach. Gosh, the water. Yeah, you wanna go? Might as well go explore here for a little bit. So we took off to explore the Marquesas Keys. The cool thing about this particular area is that these keys are a group of 10 uninhabited islands that were formed by a meteorite hitting the earth. So they're actually in the shape of a circle or more so like a donut. And when you're in the center and you look all the way around, it almost feels as if you're landlocked. 
So you kind of get the illusion that you're in the middle of a lake rather than the ocean. point we hadn't seen anybody else on the island or it technically is a key but then we randomly came across this hammock and a little bit later we found the owners of the hammock we ended up running to a group of sailors they came in on four or five different sailboats and they had been here for a few days and we all ended up hanging out for a little bit sharing some drinks and stories and it was just a good time dive boat. Jeez, we didn't get turned over during the hurricane. Gosh, look at that. <laughs> pretty strong and paddle boarding against the current kicked my butt <laughs> it's gonna be a sucker getting up back out to the trawler though the tide is coming up and the current's pretty strong and I made some new friends. We've been talking for like, gosh, I don't know, like a couple hours maybe. And uh, it's been really cool and offered to tow me back with their dinghy to the boat so I don't have to fight it, fight the current with this. <laughs> <laughs> So we ended up losing a bunch of footage from the trip. Not sure how. Didn't physically lose it. Just for whatever reason, wouldn't download or trying to transfer from GoPro to computer. Long story short, trip was awesome. Had great weather. Caught a few fish. The water clarity was awesome. Personally, it was my first trip out on the water and overall it was a really great experience. But my favorite part was really just meeting 
the sailors that we met and all the people we met. It was really cool to see other travelers and like-minded people and hear their stories and I don't know, you kind of just lose track of time out on the water. And especially with the coronavirus thing going on, it's everybody that's out there wants to get out there to get away from people but not be completely isolated. They just kind of want to get away from the crowds. So it was, it was that good mix of isolation but also around like-minded people and uh, we had a great time. It was a great time.